just gonna clump back, okay? Definitely getting cold. So I'm gonna hold this. Your head here, okay? Just for a few minutes to try and some of that discomfort. Have you been experiencing any kind of nausea, dizziness, about confusion, any loss of consciousness that you're aware of? Are you having any kind of visual changes. Keep your eyes open for me and just look at my nose for a sec. And how about any sort of feelings of loss of balance? ringing in your ears. Okay. Do you have any history of concussion? Without turning your head, let's have you follow my light. Okay, just with your eyes. I know I'm staring at you pretty closely, but I'm trying to make sure that there's no even subtle abnormality. Holding this, can I have you raise both of your arms for me? You can put them down in the box. Are you experiencing any sort of? of tunnel vision. I'm going to take this off because I need to take a look. And I can always get you another one, okay? Sorry, but 
we'll make sure we get you nice and numb first, okay? Before I do that though, I need to take a look at your head just to make sure there's no other injury that I'm not able to see. And I would prefer that you weren't numb yet that way, just in case if there's a certain area that feels painful, but I don't see a break in the skin, I'll be able to be made aware of it, okay? I'm going to be as gentle as I can. Let me stand up here, okay? Experiencing any kind of tenderness or discomfort in any of these areas. Okay, I want you to let me know if that changes right away. One more test with my light before we go any further with taking care of that laceration because first and foremost it's really important for us to rule out any sort of brain injury, okay? I'm gonna cover one of your eyes, okay? So, see my light? Is it brighter to you here? Here or here. Okay. I'm right in your peripheral here. So here or here. Okay, we're gonna try the other side now. Be very, very gentle. So here or here. Here or here? 
right here here okay good and then one more actually if you let me squeeze your shoulders just like so okay so squeezing you can feel that on both sides equally I want you to let me know when you feel one of my hands release. Good. Just like that. Just squeezing again. Good. Good. Which side did you feel? enough, we can go ahead and take care of that. Cut on your forehead, okay? I'm gonna get you nice and numb, don't worry. Okay. I am going to do my best to make this as comfortable for you as I possibly can. I'm going to be using just the topical numbing agent, okay, before we go any further. So, first it might sting just a little.
So the first one is going to have a little bit of a burn to it, but then it will numb up very quickly, okay? So if you need to close your eyes, that's totally okay. I'm gonna test it real quickly, okay? So, can you feel that? Okay, how about right there? Okay, good. There. Go ahead and get started here. My instruments to the side. And they came out. Some of these things so that I can have. This is just some sterile water that I'm going to use to sort of try and flush any pieces of debris, dirt that might be in the where am I stuck on? Oh, the head laceration here. It's a gentle way to sort of flush them out. And then if there's anything left over. I'll go back in with a tweezer and remove it, all right? Because we don't want to suture you up with any sort of dirt for objects in the cut. So, a little bit closer here. You're going to feel me just press this against your head. Just like so. And actually, before we start, I'm going to put a drape around you, because if there are any kind of drips, I want to make sure we catch them. Sorry about that. Just occurred to me. Usually I have very good aim. But just to...
here on the side of caution. If on the off chance I do drip, your clothing will be nice and protected. All right. Once more with feeling. Let me just make sure. First syringe. Now for the next one. Very carefully, I'm gonna remove some little pieces that didn't quite get loosened up by the water.
You're still doing okay? Okay, I just want to make sure that you're not feeling any of this. I am being gentle, but... can still be uncomfortable even if I'm being gentle. Not a great deal of fat to cushion the skin from the skull, so it can be very sensitive. Gotcha. the cat. Yeah. Pet hair gets everywhere even if you don't interact with them. It's still can show up on all of their clothes. I feel like it just oh, one more. floats through the air just waiting. Just waiting for you to be wearing black. I'm gonna shine my light real quick just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay. Looks good. So I think we're ready. Ideally, we're not supposed to make contact with these until it's time for us to use them. It gets caught in these autoclave packets. Mm -hmm. 
So it's steamed in the autoclave when they're open. So that way. Oh. There we go. In some cases, if there's metal on metal, like with scissors being closed, then it can prevent the steam from entering and the heat. Sanitizing the metal. Okay, we're gonna use polypropylene scissors. Mm. Grab a nylon just in case. Sometimes different people's skin can work better with different materials. First things first, I just want to check. Can you feel that? a little closer and I'm going to begin, okay? If you need to close your eyes to feel more comfortable, please do so. I'm gonna go as quickly as I can, but I also need to do a good job and be careful, so it's not going to be incredibly fast. Start here. to yank your head in different directions.
do one right here in the middle. I think we're gonna do two more. Let me just straighten out our thread here. Okay. So.
One side here. Okay. So 
So then we can take this drape off from around your shirt. Something else I want to do, so that way we can keep everything monitored and make sure you are stable even when I leave the room. So I'm going to be attaching some leads to your forehead, okay? This is just going to keep track of your brain activity, so that way if there are any changes, An alarm will sound and let us know. So, so it's just gonna go right here, right on the side. Just like so. Interfere with your bandage.
Do a little bit more testing just to make sure that your brain is okay. So, this first one is similar to the test I ran a little bit ago where we checked if the white light was the same equal brightness seen in both of your eyes in different locations. So, first to begin, what color is that? When I put it over here, same color. Is it brighter here or brighter here? Okay. So now I'm going to cover one of your eyes, okay? And I want you to tell me. you consider all of those different locations to be the same red? Any shift in tone or color? I'm going to do the other side now, so covering the side. So, here or here. do a test called blank to threat where it's going to look like I'm going to poke you in the eye. I promise you I'm not going to. I'm just making sure that your brain is triggering a response for you to blink. Okay. Okay. So it's like this. sure that the response is equal from different angles and that you don't adapt to a particular pattern. So now, there we go. 
going to do something a little different here. So, I'm going to use these cups and I'm going to cup them over your ears, okay? And when I do this, I'm going to be whispering a few ear, a few ears, a few words into your ears. I want you to repeat them, okay? So this might sound a little funny. change in balance. And how about the other? Any change? Now, one more test. I'm going to do some sensation testing here. So, I want you to tell me which side you feel. The sharper, pointy end? Or the more dull, cotton end, okay? I want you to close your eyes, no peeking. Okay. Good. Excellent. Good. 
Very good. Thank you. So, I am satisfied right now that you are stable. I am still going to order a set of x-rays just to make sure that there's no sign of a skull fracture. I didn't note anything when I was physically examining your scalp, but that doesn't mean that there isn't something present. Sometimes adrenaline can mask the sensation of pain, making it difficult to diagnose certain fractures. So, we're going to get an x-ray just to be on the safe side. Real quick though. Let me get you... One more cold pack here. too cold. I can get another drape if you need. Okay. get you to hold that for me. Perfect. I want you to keep it on for now just because I don't want to give you any kind of pain medication because we're not entirely sure that you haven't been concussed. We don't want to risk any further injury by having you fall asleep. So for now we're going to just use cold therapy in terms or in order to control your pain. Once we get an x-ray and we have you here under observation for a little bit and we're able to make certain that you're stable, the 
and we can revisit giving you some pain management, right? But for now, we need to just make sure that everything is okay first and that you're safe and stable and there aren't any changes. So, okay. In the right order real quick. To get you an x-ray. this sent over to radiology right away. It shouldn't be too long of a wait, though it does depend on how backed up they are. If they are considerably backed up, I'll make sure that we have a nurse come in here and check on you every so often just to make sure everything's fine. But we have you hooked up to the monitor here, so there are any changes, it will sound an alarm, so that way we can come in and make sure that you're okay right away. Alright? Everything's sliding out. There is a call button right here on the remote, so if you need anything, press that button. I will page the nurse's station and someone will come in here and check on you really quickly. Okay. Sit tight and... I'll come back in as soon as I have the x-ray results to go over them with you and then we'll decide what our next step is from 